Well, alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again. Uncle ZG up in here, Grandpa ZG up in here, up in here also with us today is the Huntsman Spider. And uh, coming to a completion, but before we do that, let me just quickly go over the weapons. And most of the stuff has been completed, such as the legs. As you can see, each leg unit has their little strips and bits of um, plastic ties. Whatever noise you hear in the background, just ignore it, because this is the only time I'm going to be able to do a video today, and I really want to get this out of the way. Um, okay, as you can see, we got the ball joint over here holding the, um, the last segment of the Huntsman Spider. And what's going to go underneath the shell is a gun that's originally meant for the um, MK2 Shield Liger HMM, but you know, that was an extra part I had. As you can see, I've managed to add a um, capacitor on the front part to act as a scope. And it's going to be able to rotate within the inner part of the shell, and then you get your side large um, cannons that are going to be able to have a swivel action up and down. Um, the lower shell, which is basically the um, the abdomen area of the spider, um, the lower shell, I cut out a plastic piece and then I added these animal eyes, which when you paint them, they will look like tiny missile pod heads in the inside. And then by using this little cover for an electronic part and a magnet, um, I managed to have it sort of like get a swivel a rotating covered missile pod action while it's inside um, hooked on to the abdomen okay as a two-part abdomen okay and um to the side here we have some added details still working and adding some more parts so it just won't look like one big piece of um, uh, plastic part you know added there um, the pedipalps, which is the front tiny little arms, a spider has eight legs and then there's these tiny little arms on the front that's used for grabbing food or holding down their prey or whatnot. They're going to go here, but those were um, customized and built with many little parts as seen here. Um, the fangs, which is the main uh, com close combat weapon, which um, these are actually uh, hair clip piece that I just cut off and then a combination of lots of zoid parts that will hold the fang. Of course I'm going to paint them separate and then glue them together but the fangs are going to go to the front. Um, the weapons overall as mentioned there's the one to the back that has the whole entire operation of a m mixture of missile pods and guns cannons. I will try to include a little bit more tiny guns in there if I can but the upper part of the outer shell, the outer shell area will have these swiveling um, beam guns or laser guns or whatever, you know, each to cover its own end, so left, right, and frontal area. And then, of course, to the lower part, there is these command wolf guns that I added a bead just to um, have a, an extended barrel, and they're going to go on the side to the bottom here, but they're only going to be facing one direction, no movement there. And um, to the very bottom... It's this computer part that's combined with many things, beads, metal pieces, uh, keyboard key bits, and of course plastic styrene sheets to the back, um, just to make it look like a whole new shock kind on a big large shock kind on a quad barrel actually. And it's gonna go right underneath with the magnet piece in here and it's gonna be able to rotate, okay? Um, the top part not really done yet, but that is it. Um, we are coming to close into this project. Um, I'm gonna move on to these soon, the soldering pieces, which is gonna be like aluminum tubes running on the legs to add some detail, but I'm not gonna put too much, just a little bit, because I wanna keep the flexibility of the leg unit. That is it, peace out, ciao, and let me know what you think about this thing.